Picture this, a young basketball player from Brooklyn, New York with a dream and a ball. That's Carmelo Anthony in his early years. Born to an African-American mother and a Puerto Rican father, Carmelo Kayam Anthony was destined for greatness from a young age. His journey began on the vibrant streets of Brooklyn, New York, where he'd spend countless hours mastering his craft. The playgrounds became his stage, the ball, his partner, and the hoop, his goal. In his teenage years, Carmelo moved to Baltimore, a city known for its grit and hustle, which perfectly mirrored his own spirit. He attended Towson Catholic High School, where he began to turn heads with his undeniable talent on the basketball court. But it was at Oak Hill Academy in Virginia where Carmelo truly shone, earning him the title of the best high school player in the country. Then came the decision that would change Carmelo's life forever. He chose to play for Syracuse University, a decision that would catapult him into the national spotlight. Under the guidance of legendary coach Jim Boheim, Carmelo honed his skills, leading the team to their first ever NCAA championship in 2003. His exceptional performance earned him the most outstanding player award, an accolade that solidified his status as one of the country's top talents. Within just one year at Syracuse, Carmelo proved himself as a force to be reckoned with. His unique blend of power, agility, and finesse made him a nightmare for defenders and a dream for scouts. His ability to dominate games was evident, and he quickly became one of the most sought-after players in the country. But Carmelo was just getting started. His sights were set higher, his dreams bigger. He knew he had the talent to compete with the best, and he was ready to prove it. With a NCAA championship under his belt, Carmelo was ready for the big leagues, the NBA was waiting. 2003 NBA Draft, third overall pick, Denver Nuggets select Carmelo Anthony. From the moment he was drafted, Carmelo Anthony's star began to rise. His rookie season was nothing short of phenomenal. With an innate ability to score, Anthony was a force to be reckoned with from the get-go. He averaged over 20 points per game, which was a testament to his scoring prowess and knack for finding the net. This scoring dynamo finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting, a clear indication of his immediate impact on the league, but Carmelo was not just a scorer, he was a leader. In his first season, he guided the Denver Nuggets to the playoffs, a feat the team hadn't accomplished in the previous eight years. It was a remarkable achievement for a rookie and a testament to Carmelo's leadership abilities on and off the court. As the seasons rolled on, Anthony continued to shine with the Nuggets. He was not just a star, but a superstar. His scoring titles and all-star appearances began to pile up, further solidifying his status as one of the league's elite. His ability to consistently deliver high-scoring games and clutch performances made him a fan favorite and a nightmare for opponents. Year after year, Anthony proved himself to be a vital part of the Nuggets' success. His scoring, his leadership, his tenacity all were instrumental in the Nuggets' continued presence in the playoffs. Yet, despite his success in Denver, a change was on the horizon. After eight seasons with the Nuggets, Carmelo was ready for a new challenge. He was ready to play for his hometown. In 2011, Carmelo Anthony did what every kid from New York dreams of. He became a New York Knick. The New York Knicks, a team brimming with history, tradition, and an insatiable hunger for success, were about to experience the Carmelo Anthony effect. It was here that Carmelo's scoring prowess truly shone. He was a constant threat, a player who kept the defense guessing and the crowd on the edge of their seats. His game was a cocktail of power, finesse, and sheer will, a spectacle that was as much a treat for the spectators as it was a nightmare for the opposition. One of his most memorable performances came on a chilly night in January 2014. The Madison Square Garden crowd buzzed with anticipation as Carmelo took the floor. That night, he etched his name in Knicks and Madison Square Garden history with a staggering 62-point game. It wasn't just the points, it was the way he scored them. Each bucket was a statement, a testimony to his dominance. During his time with the Knicks, Carmelo displayed an unerring consistency that saw him named to the All-Star team seven times. His performances were a beacon of hope for Knicks fans, a promise of better days. He led the team to three consecutive playoff appearances from 2011 to 2013, the first time the Knicks had achieved such a feat since the turn of the millennium. But even the brightest stars can't shine forever. Carmelo's time with the Knicks was marked by personal success, but team glory remained elusive. 
The coveted NBA championship, the dream of every player who laces up a pair of basketball shoes remained just out of reach. Despite the Herculean efforts of Carmelo, the Knicks were unable to clinch that elusive title. Despite his personal success, Carmelo was unable to bring a championship to New York. In 2017, he moved west. His time with the Knicks may have ended, but the memories he created, the records he broke, and the hope he instilled will forever be etched in the annals of New York Knicks history. The next few years saw Carmelo in different jerseys, Oklahoma City Thunder, Houston Rockets, and Portland Trailblazers. As the seasons passed, Carmelo Anthony, the 10-time NBA All-Star, found himself playing for various teams. The first stop was Oklahoma City, where he joined forces with Russell Westbrook and Paul George. This was a significant change for Anthony, who had always been the leading scorer on his teams. With the Thunder, he had to adapt to a new role, showing his versatility and willingness to do what it took to help the team win. Next, he moved to the Houston Rockets. Once again, Carmelo found himself adjusting, this time to a system run by coach Mike D'Antoni. Despite the challenges, Carmelo remained committed, demonstrating his dedication to the game that went beyond personal glory. His stint in Houston was short, but it was a testament to his resilience and adaptability. Then came the Portland Trail Blazers. In Portland, Carmelo was given another chance to prove himself after being out of the league for a year. He embraced the opportunity with open arms, showing everyone that he still had plenty to offer. His time in Portland was a reaffirmation of his love for the game, as he continued to display the same passion and dedication that had marked his career from the beginning. Throughout these transitions, Carmelo's perseverance never wavered. He faced each change with a determination to succeed, proving time and time again that he was more than just a scorer. He was a player willing to adapt, to grow, and to take on whatever role was needed for the success of the team. In each city, Oklahoma, Houston, Portland, Carmelo left his mark. He was not just a player passing through, he was a player who made a difference. It was this resilience, this unwavering love for the game that led him to his next destination. In 2020, Carmelo found a new home in Los Angeles. Scene script, Carmelo Anthony, 10-time NBA All-Star, scoring champion, Olympic gold medalist. But his legacy is more than just numbers. Let's talk about Carmelo's impact on the game, his style of play, his ability to score at will, his clutch shooting. All of these things have influenced a generation of players. He proved that you didn't need to be seven feet tall to be a dominant force in the paint, and his mid-range game was a thing of beauty. He played with a grace and a fierceness that was truly something to behold. And then there's his influence on younger players. Carmelo has always been known as a player's player, someone who is respected and admired by his peers. His work ethic, his competitiveness, his desire to win, all of these things have made him a role model for young players coming up in the league. He was always willing to put in the hours, to work on his game, to strive for greatness. Off the court, Carmelo has also made his mark. His social activism, his willingness to speak out on issues that matter, these things have made him a role model, not just for athletes, but for all of us. He's used his platform to advocate for change, to shine a light on injustice, to stand up for what he believes in. As for his place in basketball history, well, that's a subject of much debate. But there's no denying the impact he's had on the game, the influence he's had on younger players, the work he's done off the court, and he's not done yet. So what does the future hold for Carmelo Anthony? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. His legacy is secure. His impact on the game is undeniable. His influence on younger players will be felt for generations to come. Carmelo Anthony, a kid from Brooklyn with a dream and a ball, has left an indelible mark on the sport of basketball, and he's not done yet.